Okay, fellow lefties, hear me out. Governments are made of people, many of whom just want to stay in power and most of whom are lazy, because they're people. The biggest fear of a government official is losing their position in the government and consequently losing their power, which is why they have to keep up with what their constituents want. Unfortunately, most of them are not very good at this, whether it's because they're just out of touch elitists or they're being corrupt or whatever. Which is why we have to explicitly tell them what we want, because it forces them to start pretending they've always cared about the issues brought up, trying to outcompete each other in virtue signaling in front of the water base, while also giving us positive change. Best ways of informing them are things like strikes, demonstrations and protests. Which is exactly why this 1984-ing of the anti-vax convoy is a terrible fucking precedent to set. Not because they're good people, they're scum. But because now that they did this to a right-wing protest, nothing is stopping them from doing the same to socialists who will go on a massive strike, which will hit the economy. And of course it doesn't mean these people should be allowed to continue. Which is exactly why Canada should have deployed the military instead. These stupid fucks don't have legitimate grievances about worker rights or anything like that. They're just butthurt the government is finally enforcing vaccinations to try and maybe end the fucking plague. If they were to succeed, it would demonstrably hurt everyone, including themselves. So fuck them, don't freeze their assets, just give them 24 hours to fuck off and deploy the troops. Arrest everyone who stays there and if they resist, kick them in the balls. Oh, but Daniel, there might be kids. Motherfucker, nobody is saying they should just shoot everyone. If someone actually stays behind with a kid as a meat shield, you can resolve that as a normal hostage situation and then put them in prison for the rest of their lives. If anything, these kids will be better off not having to deal with a crazy far-right parent. Anyway, this is my take, by which I mean the take I stole from Wash. As a general rule, don't advocate for things that will most likely backfire on your movement. See ya.